Man, I feel so disrespected right now. Yes, as you can see, the North Arkansas Naturals have traded me, along with our second baseman, to the Diamondbacks farm system in exchange for a second baseman. I'm like, how disrespectful is that? I led the league in nearly all offensive statistical categories. I mean, I'm a blue chipper, and they do this to me? Man, forget them, man. Let's move on. So I'm going to the Mobile Bay Bears. One thing I can say about them, they have some sweet uniforms. I'm really digging the, the light blue and the royal blue combination, along with the gray uni. Um, so a little bit of batting practice, take a little steam off. You know, jack one on out just to uh, for good measure. Let them know that I'm pissed. <laughs> so let's jump right into it. Coach want to have a few words with me right quick. Let me know he's glad to have me on the team. Uh, they've been looking for a player just like me that uh, has a complete well-rounded game. And, you know, I told him thanks for uh, believing in me, bringing me to your system. You know, the whole PR stuff. You know, things that most new players do just to fit, try to help fit in and acclimate themselves as quickly as possible. So here I am, part of the Mobile Bay Bears. Still hard to believe. But, uh, you know, bump the Kansas City Royals, man. I didn't want to go there anyway. Uh, I'm not sure how much I want to even go to Arizona, but so be it. Maybe they'll have a position to open up for me a lot quicker than the Royals did. So here's my first at bat. Still got to keep my same number. Man, I like the uniforms. All right, so here we go. Let's see what happens. Look at my, look at my average. Look at my stats up there. 470 bad average, 46 homers. 154 RBI. Nobody's even close to me. Foolish team for trading me, but let's get to it. Ah. It was a bad pitch to swing at. Didn't get a good cut on it. It was a big long pop up to short right center. Alright, let's get out here in the field and play some. Uh oh, 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 oh. Come on. Chase it down. Chase it down. Nice, nice, nice. My fielding has gotten a lot better. Sometimes those little indicator arrows can kind of confuse and get you all crossed up. Here we go, top of the fourth. See if we can do any better now. Ah, I wanted that one. I wanted it. Step back in there. And by the way, this is my batting style. This is pretty much how I bat <laughs> in real life. Another high pitch. And this right here was just the ultimate and just... Why did I do that? I was so stupid. A foul that the catcher caught. Yep, yep, yep. All right, top of the six. Here's my third at bat. There we go. Nice shot up the middle. Short second baseman couldn't handle it. It was a little too hot. So, you know, on base by any means necessary. Wow, look how old this guy is. What is he still doing in the minors? Double A no list. Looking like now Phil Necro or somebody. Here comes the skipper ah. It's so always nice when you're coming. the hit that's that caused the uh, pitcher to get yanked out of the game. So take so the walk of shame, buddy. Dead pitcher walking. Dead pitcher walking. So who we got coming in? Brian, Brian Parnell? Okay. Actually, a four ERA is probably about average for the minors, uh, it, it, at least in this game. I'm noticing that everybody carries a high ERA. I mean, you'll find some that have a two. Anyway, we have two outs, top of the six. We're winning 2-1. It's a nice shot, nice yank. I'm hitting the bases. Don't stop, keep going, keep going. Ah, uh, that was it. They caught the ball, so let's get back out here in the field. So I changed my camera angle, and I changed the uh, the fielding perspective, not the perspective, but the options for it. This is uh, called Roll to the Show, RTTS, I think it's uh, Game Watch, and I changed it to uh, Play Result or Result Play. And what that basically is, you get to see the last pitch of every play. So in the outfield, it makes it really, it makes it more realistic in terms of instead of you knowing anytime it shows you in the outfield that you're going to get the play coming to you. It could go anywhere, and sometimes you can even actually go in and make a play on the ball that really wasn't intended to come to your area. 
But I think it's pretty cool to see it from this perspective like you would if you were in the outfield and watching your teammates make plays. Uh, because like I said, you're just watching the last play of you're watching the last pitch of that at bat so it's not like it's going to add a lot of extra time to the game but it is fun to play from that perspective or watch the game from that perspective and it keeps you on your toes in terms of uh being able to make a play when necessary and look at our pitcher man this dude was walking people all night i'm like why didn't our coach yank this guy i mean he's not making a good first impression on me with this new team all right manager wants me to go up a little bit but yeah, back to what I was saying about if you go into the, uh, like where you go and change like your, your in-game options right below where it says uh, mode specific or something like that. It may say RTTS gameplay. Wow, you select that. Did he walk another right person? Ah, gosh, this dude sucks. But uh, you go in and select that option to uh, change it to a results play. But you can do results fielding. Because uh, when you do results play, you also, on when you're in the infield, you sit from the dugout perspective and you watch your teammates bat. I don't typically like to do that. When we're on the offense, I like to go ahead and just bat. So you can change it to say just results fielding. So you'll just, on defense, you'll just be able to see the last pitch of each at bat to make a play. See right there, you know, it's... Uh, you know, you don't know when the ball is going to come to you. And that makes the game a little more fun. It adds an element of surprise. And so, you know, you have to really stay focused. So they got bases loaded, one out, bottom of the seventh. And one run game. This is not good. Okay, so we got a strikeout. So pitch is doing a little better now under pressure. And of course, they get a base hit, and ah, hey, I shouldn't have double pumped that one. So of course, now they're up, three two, two outs, bottom of the seventh. I don't know why that pitch off tip comes up because, it, as far as I can tell, it doesn't mean much. Because when I'm in right field, almost everything is hit to my left side, like it's almost towards the the foul line. So two I would think that if it's a fastball, that the batter wouldn't get around as quickly on it, so they may hit it to uh, opposite field. So here's the here's how the camera angle looks when you have it's the option set to uh, results uh, play, and so you get to watch, uh, you know, the last pitch uh, of your teammates. So I think it's pretty cool. I just I wanted to show you guys how this looks. Just so it can kind of build up the anticipation of you know your own deck and you're about ready to bat. So here I am. Top of the eighth, we're down by one. That was a good pitch. I probably should have swung at that one. And probably should not have swung at that one. I, mean, I got a good cut on it, but it uh, definitely uh, was not the right pitch for me to swing at. So, uh... You know, so far, I'm, oh, okay, it's top of the ninth. And then we're up by one. So we must have had a pretty good inning. Uh, my teammates kind of helped bring us back. And, of course, uh, hit into a ground out. Well, they got to put out. So we're up by one still. They hit it to me. And there we go. I think your boy makes the uh, last catch of the game. And we ended up winning 4-3. So I'm really excited about this new opportunity in my minor league career. Uh, I'm joining a, a powerhouse team, as you can see. We won the second straight Southern League title as of last year in real life. So the Mobile Bay Bears are forced to deal with. And they've added me to their roster, the number one prospect in AA. Oh, we're going to be a problem for the Southern League. So stay tuned for some more footage. Until then, it's your boy, Mr. Lux, a.k.a. The Merry Gamer, and I'm out. Peace.